This is additional footage from the Georgian Legion special operation in the Bakhmut area, as a result of which 11 Wagner group fighters were neutralized, several were wounded and taken prisoner. A series of pinpoint strikes were inflicted on recreation centers on the Black Sea coast in the Kherson region, where the military units of the Russians were located. Freezing rain, mud, and artillery, but it was all worthwhile today. In two days we were able to clear about 5.5 kilometers of road leading to a vital fuel transfer point. Now work crews can use this road to get gas pumping again. Mission success from Ryan Hendrickson. And today, it's like, I don't know, like 22. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. But, got to clear up to this fuel transfer point so vehicles can start getting to it. So, we will uh, get going. Alright, so, we got markers right here. And they go all the way down this road. So... Um, that road's been checked. This road has not. So, and this, uh, along this ridge line here is all Russian positions, was Russian positions. So, then you get signs like that. And we look for that solid hit. The detector gave us a solid hit and we got it right there. All right, okay. come on in. And like everything else, trash. So <laughs> we're cleaning up. We're cleaning up the environment. Yeah, it's going to be hard to kind of catch the sound of all the artillery in the background. But uh, looks like the craning positions are getting pounded right now. Alright, well, we are soaked to the bone. <laughs> um, yeah, we got caught up in some freezing rain out here, but the road is cleared. We did about, uh, about five, five and a half kilometers. Um, yeah, all the way up past the ridge line and then down another three kilometers. But uh, yeah, the road's clear, so now we can uh, we can send up that report and uh, they'll check off this this road right here up to that uh, that fuel station is uh, being cleared. A little Ford Connect trying to do it. Yeah, this road sucks and it's pouring rain, so it's flooded. But uh, so far, still driving. Soldiers from the Murmansk region complained to Governor Andre Chibis about conditions during combat training. The men claim that they have to live outside in tents, and they shot only twice during training.
Я пришел сам лично на войну. Добро А на меня, ну, рапорт пишет, то, что я пью. Так ничему не учат, я стрелял два раза. Ну, разберись, нахуй. И, или жить в этом говне, ёпта. Без дверей, без нихуя. Без крыши, блядь. Снег идет. Нормально ходит. And for the end this spectacular picture form German anti-air gun Gepard vs Iranian Shahed drone. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.